we address two challenges, one basic science and one technological. Uh, first, there's a very special protein called channel rhodopsin found in algae uh, that, when triggered by light, uh, moves ions all by itself through a, a hole it creates in the membrane of a cell. And we sought to understand how this fascinating protein works as a molecule. Uh, the second related challenge was to develop a way to control cells with light using proteins like channel rhodopsins, but in animals. We were able to sort out how this amazing channel rhodopsin protein actually uh, works as a channel and as a molecule, how it determines what kind of ions are allowed to cross the membrane of the cell, its speed, its color, uh, selectivity uh, for light and so on. Uh, much of this work together with uh, my co-laureate uh, Peter. And second, between about 2004 and 2009 in my lab, beginning with two grad students, Ed and Fung, who both also have the Gardner, uh, we developed optogenetics, control of specified cells in animals using light. Impact of my work has been primarily on the basic understanding of how these beautiful proteins from algae actually work. Uh, and uh, second, enabling the broader community of biologists to test how cells give rise to the properties of large uh, functioning complex uh, systems like the brain. My own lab's uh, application of this research has been in discovering how cells control basic survival drives, thirst, sleep, feeding, uh, other motivated behaviors. This is basic science, uh, but basic discoveries uh, eventually lead to promising new treatments, and we're already seeing this in the case of addiction. I'm most inspired, frankly, by my students over the years. Uh, the ones I've worked with are just amazing, rigorous, creative, and inspiring people. To students entering science, I would give the same advice I give my own children. Uh, follow and make your own path, and, and work on what seems beautiful. Uh, particularly to you.